Hi, welcome to the session on CMA Part 1, Financial Planning, Performance and Analytics. We are discussing about the measurement, valuation and disclosure. Short term items. Accounts are stable. We discussed in the previous sessions. Inventory. What is inventory? How do we measure? How do you value and disclose in the financial statements? Okay. And in the states, how you control the inventory? What type of controls you set up? The inventory cost flow methods in case of retail and manufacturing industries, like cost flow methods like first in, first out, last in, first out, average methods, using periodic inventory system and perpetual inventory system, inventory valuation methods, when we have closing stock at the end of the year, to present them on the balance sheet under current assets. Let's discuss in detail. Inventory. Inventory is nothing but a stock item or stock item which is purchased and held for sale in case of retail industries. So we buy to sell any item which we buy to sell, we classify them as inventory. Any inventory which we buy to consume in the production process so that we get finished goods so we can sell them off. Such an inventory can be in the form of raw material, a plywood in case of manufacturing or, or, or furniture companies, Working progress, semi-finished goods, the process of raw material in some stage to become finished goods and finished goods which are ready for sale. Raw material, working progress, finished goods. Whether it is retail industry or you know manufacturing industry, we need to have a proper safeguarding system to control this inventory. Okay, we uh, segregate the duties of the people who handle this inventory so that only the authorized empl employees can have access to the inventory, especially the costly items, and locking the high priced items so that uh, everyone will not have access to these cabinets may have some kind of security cameras, security tags, which you can observe in some shopping complex and all mirrors to a mirrors and guards to monitor any kind of misappropriation or stealing. The objectives of inventory control, why should we have inventory control? We should safeguard the inventory. And also it is a compliance that the, the Financial statements should include the proper valuation of the inventory. So properly reporting the inventory in the financial statements is an external uh, requirement and safeguarding of inventory not to get lose this inventory because of theft is an internal requirement. We use some documents in our you know, to get this inventory in our stores, like we make a requisition when there is a requirement, like in a retail industry, the stores levels are monitored from time to time. The moment inventory falls at a you know minimum stock level, a reorder level, there will be a requisition placed. Then we, you know, place a purchase order, PO so that the vendor will send the goods along with a delivery note. Okay, and the receiving clerk in the uh, warehouse will prepare a goods receipt note 
that what amount of goods we received then the vendor will send the invoice to your accounts payable department which is to be prepared which is to be injected into the system so different documents are to be prepared with a proper segregation of duties to control this inventory so that you know that there is an inventory which exists and when we sell it off that inventory is going to be updated from time to time and at the end of the year, you see that what inventory is left that you can compare with the system called stock taking, inventory verification, physical check of the inventory, whether the inventory in the system matches with the physical inventory in your stores and warehouse, etc. Okay, and you find any deviations, variations that you need to account. What is the cost of the, the inventory? See, inventory we purchased for say $10,000 from a supplier. But to move the goods all the way from the supplier place to our warehouse, we spend money, right? So we want the inventory at our place, not our supplier's place. So we move the goods all the way from the you know supplier place to the our warehouse yeah so you spend say two thousand dollars to move the goods right okay which includes like customs insurance loading offloading etc now the total amount what you spend to become owner of this inventory is twelve thousand dollars ten thousand which you pay to the supplier and 2000 is the amount you paid to bring the material all the way from the supplier place to our warehouse sometimes you might uh, find some you know the goods which are defective broken expired not ordered by us so you may return certain goods to the supplier that 500 dollars worth of goods are not ordered by us so from 10000 we are going to reduce 10,000 plus 2,000 minus 500 because we purchased a good quantities at the time of payment the purchase the supplier is going to reduce say for example a discount or allowance of hundred dollars so the net cost of purchase of this inventory is 10,000 invoice price two thousand dollars freight in or carriage in watts minus the goods value of the goods return to the supplier 500 minus any discounts or allowances given by the supplier 10,000 plus 2,000 12,000 minus 500 and 100 dollars 11,400 is a net cost of purchases this should be assigned to inventory value inventory value okay so the cost of inventory is not 10,000. Cost of the inventory which you have in your warehouse is $11,400. Net cost of purchases. Inventory is important uh, and inventory control is also very important. As you know that this is to be okay, made available uh, to, to, to meet our demand either in a retail industry or manufacturing industry. So we need to have a proper control. So to have this control, companies use any of these two systems, methods, perpetual inventory system, periodic inventory system. Perpetual inventory system maintains a complete history of the inventory. Like say, for example, on 1st of Jan, we purchased 1000 units at the rate of ten dollars cost of the purchase is ten thousand dollars yeah on 5th of jan we sold 400 pieces okay so you reduce four thousand dollars so entire history is maintained like this so that you know what is the inventory value 
quantity as well as the value as on the closing date called perpetual inventory system. So including the, the details of purchases from whom we purchased, what customs we paid, what delivery charges we paid, what transportation charges we paid, what insurance we paid, entire information is available here on continuous basis called perpetual inventory system. So here we record the amounts into inventory, giving the details so that you have updated information in the system. Periodic inventory system is a system wherein you just maintain only ledger accounts, ledger accounts. Like, you know, you prepare only just purchases account. Okay. You do not record the quantity, rate, etc. Purchase account are debited supplier account is credited and the rest of all accounts you will have individual accounts like freight account insurance account customs account so they have their respective accounts okay so you have a purchases account you have customs you have transportation you have insurance etc when you club all these related direct expenses account you will get the inventory value then how do you know that closing stock to find out the you know, the cost of goods sold. In a perpetual inventory system, you are entering entire amount into inventory and every purchase, every sale is updated immediately so that automatically cost of goods sold is calculated from the system itself. But in case of periodic inventory system, you have different accounts with different dollar amounts. So it is difficult to find out the cost of goods sold you will have only cost of goods available for sale. That is the purchase price plus all the respective accounts. When you add all this, you will get cost of goods available for sale, but not cost of goods sold, like in the case of perpetual inventory system. So what you need to do is you should know that what is the closing stock? What is the closing inventory? So when you, when you know that this, this is a closing inventory which is lying there and deduct from this total amounts to arrive at cost of goods sold. So your cost of goods sold depends upon the value of ending inventory which you found, right? So all the way you have to go and verify the physical inventory, take a record of it, find the dollar amount to uh, arrive at cost of goods sold. So under periodic inventory system, you need to find ending inventory to know the cost of goods sold, which is not encouraged. So you see many industries, retail, manufacturing, etc., they like to have perpetual inventory system. And today's the present ERP systems help us to maintain this perpetual method. And also we can see the live you know, the inventory in the systems so that where a particular item is on what is the quantity when we bought it. So all the insane.